Hello everyone! Welcome to my video lecture discussion on the different topics of psychology, giving you the only basic tenets, the core concepts, and the most important information you need to learn. I hope this is useful for you and share this to others so we can help them also. The one we're going to have a discussion on the major theories of personality, for this time we're going to have a lecture about psychoanalytic social theory by Karen Hornay. Alright, let's learn more about the theory of psychoanalytic social theories. So, for this theory, the social and cultural condition for shaping personality and as well as a childhood experiences is very important. So, this is like the combination of psychoanalysis of a Freud plus the social and cultural factor. Okay, so according to Hornay, everyone is a real or potential competitor of everyone else. Let's see kung bakit ganyan yung pagtingin ni Hornay. Right? These are the little information about Karen Hornay and her biography. Okay, born in Albeck in 1885, youngest of two children born to an older sea captain and his young wife, entered University of Freiburg, worked in neurotics, published the technique of psychoanalytic therapy in 1917. Horney left Germany to become a associate director of Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute. Increasingly abandoned psychoanalysis in a favor of a more socially oriented jury. Founder of her own clinic. Died in New York in 1952. Okay, so basic assumption of psychoanalytic social theory is social and cultural condition, especially childhood experiences, are largely responsible for shaping the behavior just like what they said, social and cultural experiences and conditions are very important. Okay, Hornay believed that there is what you call nutritive soil of neurosis. It's basic anxiety that may develop over time. So, basic anxiety becomes the source of right of neurosis that can develop to an individual. Okay, Hornay hypothesized that a difficult childhood is primarily responsible for the neurotic needs. We have 10 neurotic needs that we're going to discuss. Alright, we also have 3 neurotic trends. What is, okay, what is basic hostility? These people who do not have their needs for love and affection satisfied during childhood develops basic hostility towards their parents. Okay, even the first reaction, the parental indifference by a child is anger. As a consequence, they suffer from basic anxiety. So, kahit na bata ka pa, you can experience basic anxiety. Even if you're still a child. Okay? So, basically, hostility happens if you know hindi na nasatisfy yung need mo. Okay? Basic anxiety. Moving forward. Results from basic hostility. Fear of helplessness and abandonment. Feeling of being isolated and helpless in a world conceived as potentially hostile o nakakatakot o walang kasiguraduhan. People combat basic anxiety by adopting one of the three fundamental styles of relating to others. So, I think familiar kayo sa mata, di ba? By moving away, moving toward, and moving against, di ba? That's how people try to, basic an to combat basic anxiety in accordance with the theory of Hornay. Normal individuals may use any of these modes of relating to people. So, normal in individuals that they can try to shift from moving away, moving towards, or moving against. But for those who have or who are experiencing neurosis, they just rely on one trend course or style of relating to others. So, so <laughs> okay, neurotic individuals are compelled to rigidly rely only into one style of relating to others. For her, he has protective devices. Si Freud, meron siyang defense mechanisms. Si Adler naman, safeguarding tendencies. Si Hornay, meron siyang protective devices. So, this is the defenses against basic anxiety or real or imagined hostility. Okay? So, this is... So, first is power, prestige, or possession. Yung, yung pos. Familiar ata kayo sa pos. 
So, this is to dominate, to protect against humiliation, buffer against destitution and poverty. Affection naman may try to purchase love with self-effacing, compliance, or material goods or sexual favors. Mm. Okay, so next is withdrawal. Withdrawal is developing an independence from others by becoming emotionally detached from them. And submissiveness, this is people may submit themselves to people or institution. For example, you are trying to submit yourself towards an organization or a particular region. Something like that. Moving to the compulsive drives. Neurotic people of the same problem affecting normal people except that they experience it on a greater degree. So, normal lang daw na magkaroon tayo ng basic anxiety. Okay, so, pero for those people who have neurosis, they suffer it most deeply or mas malala. Normal people use a variety of defense maneuvers in a useful way. Well, neurotic people compulsively repeat the same strategy in an unproductive manner. So, the three fundamental styles of relating to others, so we can compare normal and neurotic defenses. For moving toward, we have friendly, loving personality, okay? But on the other hand, it has a compliant personality. So, it's sige ka lang, comply na ng comply kahit hindi na okay para sa'yo or di ka na masaya. Moving against people is a survivor in a competitive society. But in the other hand, it can have an aggressive personality. So, yun, madalas ka namang away ng tao. Madalas ka na nang gagalit kanyan. You're becoming violent and aggressive. Okay? Moving away from people, you have an autonomous, serene personality. So, on the other hand, you have a detached personality or di ka na sumasama or you're trying not to join a particular group. Okay? Those are the fundamental styles relating to others. Okay, so we have 10 categories of different neurotic needs. So I'm going to cut to simply categorize them into three, okay? Into three basic trends, neurotic trends. These are the moving towards, moving against, and moving away. So what are those 10? First is for affection, an approval for a powerful partner to restrict one's life's narrow borders and for power. That is under moving towards. For moving against, we have to exploit others for social recognition or prestige, for personal admiration, and for ambition. That is, that is for moving against. And for the last one, moving away. This is for, this is for self-sufficiency and independence, for perfection and prestige. Okay? So, this is the summary on the Book of Feist. You can see here the different neurotic trends okay okay so let's discuss the intrapsychic conflicts so these are the conflicts we have in our mind okay originated from the interpersonal experiences we have so it can become part of a person's belief system but they develop a life of their own and existence separate from the interpersonal conflicts that give it give them life Okay, so first intrapsychic conflict we have is the idealized self-image. This is painting a godlike picture of yourself, alright? So feeling alienated from themselves, people need desperately to acquire a stable sense of identity. There is a delusion of grandeur that is the, de that is the idealized self-image. For under this, we have three categories. Neurotic search for glory. This is like the comprehensive drive towards actualizing the ideal self. Neurotic search for glory is the comprehensive drive of self-actualization. I, I mean self-idealization. This is the tyranny of the should. Kailangan ganito, kailangan ganyan, dapat ganito, di pwede dapat ganyan. Okay? The three elements is the need for perfection. Neurotic ambition and drive towards a vindictive triumph. Okay, these are the three elements under this is which the neurotic search for glory. Neurotic claims. Okay, this refers to building a fantasy world. Neurotic 
build a fences, build a fantasy world, a world that is out of sync with the real world. They proclaim that they are special and therefore entitled to be treated in accordance to their idealized self-image. Neurotic pride is a false pride based on a realistic view. Okay? But this is spurious. But I mean this this spurious image of the ideal self is it is a false pride. It means hindi siya totoo. Self-hatred, another intrapsychic conflict. Aside from idealized self-image is self-hatred. This is a rational and powerful tendency to despise one's real self. When you realize that there is that the real self does not match the insatiable demands of their ideal self, they will begin to hate and despise and themselves. Okay, this is quite rational. All right, that is self hatred. So you hated yourself because hindi mo siya na achieve ng ganito, hindi mo siya nakuwa yung gan, hindi mo nakuwa yung ganito. You failed from something. Okay, that is self hatred. Six ways to express self-hatred. Okay, first, relentless demands of the self or the tyranny of the should. Kailangan ganito, kailangan ganyan. Okay? Two, merciless self-accusation. Dito na yung, sirisisi mo yung self mo palagi. Three, self-content. You try to ridicule or doubt yourself, your skills. Four, self-frustration. Okay, so, pag hindi mo nakuha ito, you will feel frustrated of something there is pressure in yourself okay five self torment or self torture pinaparusahan mo yung sarili mo right this is how you express self hatred okay lastly the self destructive actions and imposes so dito na yung pwede ka maglaslas pwede mo na rin sirain yung katawan mo you try to make or do destructive action okay to yourself or towards others Ayon, ayun, this is their six ways to express self-hatred. For the theory of Karen Hornay, na-emphasize na yung feminine psychology. So, this is the psychological differences between men and women are not the result of the anatomy, but rather because of the culture and social expectation. So, hindi daw magkaiba ang pagtingin ng tao. This is only because of the culture, and this is, Hindi cause yung vagina tsaka yung penis, hindi yun yung factor, yung differences nila. It is rather because of the culture and new expectation ng ating society. Okay, Horney insisted that basically it is the core of men's in need to subjugate women and women to wish to humiliate men. So, ayan. Application of psychoanalytic theory of Horney. So, for her, Psychothera psychotherapy it focuses on the development of self-realization through self-analysis okay she also utilizes some techniques as same as freud successful when patient can assume responsibilities for their psychological development so this is the goal of the hornian therapy to help patients gradually grow in the direction of self-realization important in self-realization Give up their idealized self-image and relinquish the neurotic search for glory. Change self-hatred to self-acceptance. Ayun, those are the goals of the Hornian psych psychotherapy also. Also, focus on love, mastery, and freedom. Okay? Alright, that's all for our discussion on the theory of Karen Hornay. I hope you've learned something from that. And Thank you for listening and watching. That's, see you soon next time and that's all for today. Bye!